Now, I'm not saying homelessness is a good thing, but think about it. You get up at the butt crack of every day, you go to a job you probably don't like. You work way too much for not enough money, and then you spend most of that on bills. They don't. They get up when they want, they go where they want, they do what they want, they can get drunk whenever they want. For free, you know? Um, it's insane, it's insane. And now some people think that um, uh, homeless people are kind of stupid, right? But you know the little stories they come up with when the bacon change off you? That takes some talent. Now sometimes it can be a little bit of a flaw. Like uh, there's one guy who said, uh, oh man, I lost my transfer ticket, I just need bus fare. I've got a job interview, can you help? And I was like, oh. Uh, congratulations on your job interview, but um, where do you get your suit from? Do you know I mean, what dead guy did you get it from? It's a bit tatty. And then I was saying, oh, there's uh, uh, that odour as well. as Axe coming out with a new body spray called um, Cheap Alcohol and Broken Dreams. <laughs> now, the homeless people are kind of humble. Um, that's what I thought until I moved to Michigan. Now, I don't know about you, but the Detroit homeless I've come across are a bit more demanding. Um, I was... <laughs> so I'm not the only one, right? I was sitting at the bus stop, and this guy comes up, he's a, he's a white guy, he's wearing like army fatigues, uh, like a uh, veteran or something like that, and he, he comes up to me and says, uh, give me money. So I'll give him some more. And he goes, that's not enough. So I'll give him some more. And he goes, give me a smoke. I don't, I don't smoke. He said, don't leave it. So I let him frisk me to prove I wasn't lying. And then he goes, you suck. And then he goes into the next guy. And he goes, let's go, give me a smoke. Give him a cigarette. He says, just one. So he ends up giving the entire packet. And then he goes like, oh, give me a lighter. But he hasn't got, got a spare one. He says, oh, you suck. Now he did this down the entire bus queue, about eight people, and walked on his way. And I was like, damn, we just got mugged <laughs> by a homeless guy. And no one even lifted a finger. It's crazy. And I thought, because my mind works this kind of way, the muggers, they've got it wrong. Think about it. They don't have to hold people up with a gun for some loose change. You know, they could get arrested for that. Even worse, they can get shot. All they have to do is put on really tatty clothing, and they can be beg as much money on people as they want to. Um, now, why do homeless people live in Michigan? <laughs> I mean, the summer's okay, the spring's okay, but winter, this weather is terrible! I mean, oh, Michigan's called no, 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 Coast Bird. I, when you leave your house with wet hair by the time you get to your car, your head's frozen. There's something wrong. The first winter I was in Michigan, I was honestly convinced that the ozone layer depleted. I thought, oh man, Bob Dolly got it right. And um, uh, I think what they should do is they should move to Florida, right? Um, yeah, because if you think about it, it's warm. There's a lot of crazy people down there. Um, so they're not going to stand out. And also they've got the ocean. So the next time they feel a bit stinky, just walk in the ocean. They get a bath and the laundry service are free. <laughs> Now, one thing I did forget, that somebody actually told me when I was uh, talking about the, the cold in Michigan, I don't know if this is true, but I heard this story where there was a drunken guy, and he was walking home from the pub, right? And uh, he needed to go for a whiz, so he leaned against a lamppost, and it stuck. <laughs> Talk about painful instant circumcision, God! <laughs> so when these, when these homeless people move to Florida, I think what they should do is stop being homeless, right? If they, I thought they could become gurus. I mean, all they need to do is like, wear a bedsheet like a poncho, and then suddenly the kind of inane banter becomes kind of more prophetic. And think about it. Uh, a homeless guy comes up to you and says, uh, uh, Excuse me, I have nothing. He goes, Get away from me, get a job, get a life. If a guru comes up to you and says, Excuse me, I have nothing, you go, Oh, whoa, let me wash your feet, let me feed you and clothe you, please, will you share me with me, share, share your wisdom with me? Because there's some through that. And that is my time. I uh, thank you so much. Thank you.